"'Twas the night before Easter, and all through the home, Several creatures were stirring, and one seemed to moan. The baskets were out from the place they were hiding, and eggs had been tossed of all colors with riding. And children were consciously waiting the morn, but father knew his fate, which made him forlorn. He tossed in his castle that great beloved house, knowing he'd attend church tomorrow to satisfy his spouse. Oh, he hated church, those hypocrites and quacks from his mind sprung fear and an anxiety attack. So away to the bathroom he flew like a bolt, hiding his face. His wife finally spoke. You promised me, honey. She began to cry. You said that you'd come. You said that you'd try. Then calming her heart, she saw on his face a gentle smile stood in that once sad frown's place. So the two went to bed, and he held her that night. They awoke the next morning after hitting snooze seven times, and the children were shouting with eggs from the hedge, but church was so close now, father seemed quite on edge. Well, what should I wear? He began to holler. Put on your pants, on those shoes, on that shirt with the collar. From the top of his head to the top of his toes, a patient wife dressed him, though his demeanor was cold. They then all rushed, while Dad walked, while Mom ran. They jumped very quickly in their Dodge Caravan, so on to church with some speed down the highway they flew. Mama driving this time, Daddy yelling on cue, and then in a screech, they finally arrived. They walked in the church, it had changed from last time, and the people were warm, and they welcomed them quick, though Dad built up a wall from his heart, fell the bricks, and the pastor was dressed, but where was his tie? He seemed very normal, like one of the guys. And the music was great. Dad even caught his toe tapping. And the sermon was moving. And Dad thought, what is happening? Dad's eyes began to shimmer. His fear melted away. He lifted his arms and a few times did say, Amen, Amen, as Mom sat confused. But she praised God the more for how this church had been used. And after the service, they were invited to lunch. Mom and Dad had iced tea. The kids had fruit punch. And they enjoyed their new friends with the clanging of cups. They laughed and they ate and shared a bowl of ketchup. It was a good day indeed, Father had to admit. Then on the next Wednesday, he dropped off the kids. And on the next Sunday, he went to church twice. Dad grew in his faith and then accepted the love of Christ Then later down the road, through God's unmatched grace, Dad gave his testimony, which brought a tear to Mom's face. And she said, thank you, church family, for your prayers and your love. But mostly, thank you, my God, because you never give up.